Once upon a time, in a small, peaceful village nestled between rolling hills and lush fields, there was a boy named Ollie. Though Ollie lived in a beautiful place and had a family that loved him, he felt unhappy. Every day, he'd see other kids in the village with things he didn't have, colorful clothes, toys from the market, or food from the city. Ollie's family wasn't poor, but they lived modestly, and his parents taught him to save and not to waste. But the more Ollie saw what others had, the more he began to feel sorry for himself. He'd think, why don't I have what they have? Why is my life so unfair? His days became filled with sighs and complaints. When his friends invited him to play, he declined, feeling like he could never be as happy as they were. His parents noticed this change in him and grew concerned, but they didn't know how to help. One sunny afternoon, Ollie was wandering through the village with his head down, feeling miserable. As he walked past the village square, he noticed an elderly man sitting under a big, shady tree. The old man's face was wrinkled, his hair silver, and his clothes simple, yet he wore a smile that seemed to shine as brightly as the sun itself. Curious, Ollie walked up to the man and asked, Why are you always smiling? Don't you ever feel sad about your life? The old man looked at him kindly, his eyes twinkling with warmth. Ah, uh, young Ollie, I see you carry a heavy heart. Tell me, what makes you so unhappy? Ollie sighed. Everyone else has more than I do. They have better clothes, more toys, and even nicer houses. I just don't think my life will ever be as good as theirs. The old man nodded, listening patiently. Then he said, Ollie, would you like to take a walk with me? I want to show you something. Intrigued, Ollie agreed, and the two of them strolled together through the village streets, eventually reaching the edge of town where a narrow path led to a small, weathered cottage. Inside the cottage lived a family who had even less than Ollie's family. The father was better than due to illness, and the mother worked tirelessly from sunrise to sunset, doing whatever small jobs she could find to keep food on the table for her two young children. Despite their struggles, the children laughed and played outside, their eyes bright and faces full of joy. Ollie was astonished. How can they be so happy, he asked, unable to understand. They hardly have anything. The old man smiled and replied, they may not have many things, but they have each other. They find happiness in small moments, like eating a simple meal together or playing outside. They don't spend their time wishing for more because they're grateful for what they already have. Ollie watched as the mother called her children inside, her voice filled with love despite her exhaustion. He could see the joy in their faces as they gathered around the table for a humble meal. For the first time, Ollie realized that happiness wasn't about having everything, it was about appreciating what you already had. Even though their home was small and their clothes were old, this family seemed richer than anyone he knew because of the love and gratitude they shared. The old man then took Ollie to visit a second family, this one much wealthier. They lived in a grand house with tall gates and shiny floors. Servants moved about quietly and beautiful decorations lined the walls. But as Ollie looked closer, he noticed that the people inside didn't seem happy at all. The father was busy with his work, hardly speaking to anyone, and the children were each absorbed in their own worlds, staring at their new toys or talking on phones. The mother sat quietly in a corner, looking tired and alone, despite the luxury around her. As they left, Ollie turned to the old man and asked, Why aren't they happy? They have everything anyone could ever want. The man chuckled softly. It's true, they have many things. But sometimes, when people focus only on what they can buy, they forget to enjoy the simple things that bring true joy, like love, connection, and gratitude. They spend so much time trying to have more that they miss what's already in front of them. Ollie felt a wave of understanding wash over him. He thought about his own life his mother's warm meals, his father's stories, and the laughter he shared with his siblings. These were things he had overlooked, always wishing for what he didn't have. 
He suddenly felt grateful for everything he did have. As they walked back to the village, the old man gave Ollie one last piece of advice. Ollie, life will always have ups and downs. Some days, you'll feel like you have everything. Other days, you may feel like you have nothing. But true happiness comes not from what you have, but from being grateful for what life has given you. If you remember this, you'll always find a reason to smile. From that day on, Ollie tried to see his life with new eyes. When he felt a pang of jealousy or longing, he'd remember the family in the small cottage, happy with their little, and the wealthy family, lonely despite their riches. Slowly, his heart grew lighter, and his smile returned. Ollie became known as one of the happiest boys in the village, and whenever others felt down, he'd share his story of the wise old man, the small cottage, and the big, empty house. He taught them that while life might not always be perfect, we can always find joy by appreciating the blessings we already have. And in doing so, Ollie learned one of the greatest secrets to a happy life, that happiness isn't found in things, it's found in the way we see them.